So now you are going to read this conversation along with me. So you should uh, appreciate the use of passe composé in this conversation. So it is a conversation between the professor and the student. Le professor and l'étudiant. The professor and the student. So the professor asks, Vous avez compris? Vous avez compris? You have understood? So it is the question is in the passé composé. Ave is avoir conjugation plus the past participle of comprendre. Vous avez compris? L'étudiant says no. So here the student is going to answer in the negative. So we are going to see how passé composé is used in the negative form. No. Je n'ai pas compris. I did not understand. So here we have a word plus the past participle. Since the sentence is negative, we have ne and pa. So a word plus past participle makes passé composé. If you add ne and pa before and after the auxiliary, we get the negative form. Moving on to the next, le professeur, vous avez lu le texte? Have you read the text? Vous avez lu le texte? L'étudiant, again the étudiant, the student has to say no. Je n'ai pas lu le texte. So here, avoir, for vous it is away. Lu is the past participle of the verb. Lire means to read. Vous avez lu le texte? Have you read the text? No. Je n'ai pas lu le texte. So again, it is avoir past participle ne and pa. So I hope you understood that. Moving on to the next, la professeur. Vous avez appris la conjugation? You have understood the conjugation. Vous avez appris la conjugation? So here the student says, No, je n'ai pas travaillé. No, I did not do. I have not worked. I did not work. Vous avez appris la conjugation? This is avoir plus the past participle. This is the past participle of the verb apprendre. So now the student says, no, I have not worked. Travaille. So this is avoir plus the past participle of the verb travaille. It is an ER verb. So we replace ER with E accent. And since the sentence is negative, we add na and pa. So I hope you understood how we use Passé composé in a question and how to answer in passé composé in the negative. So now you must be thorough with how to use passé composé. So shall we try to solve some exercises?